Installing Google Docs on your Kindle Fire is an easy way to ensure you always have a way to write. In this video, I'm going to show you the process in a few easy steps. Before we get started, take a deep breath. This is a little bit of a process. I will walk you through how to install it on a Kindle Fire with apps that I have already downloaded, and then I will show you how to actually download the files, because depending on when you go through this tutorial, really depends on which version of the apps that you are going to download. As a note, this only is going to work on Kindle Fire 8. So if you don't know what your Kindle Fire is, go to your settings and scroll down to device options. And at the bottom, you can see under about Fire Tablet, this is a Fire HD 10th generation. That is the only one I can confirm that this process is going to work on. Like I said, it does change. There might be a little bit of trial and error, but I'm going to do my best to get you to a place where you can troubleshoot this. If this video goes out of date, if it does, I will make a new one. The first thing you need to decide is if you want to download the apps onto a flash drive to install onto your Kindle Fire, or if you want to download the apps directly onto your Kindle Fire using the Silk browser. Either way you choose, you are still going to need to download specific versions, so I'm going to show you how to download the apps first before showing you how to install them. I followed the article on lilypudding.com. This was the only place I found links to exactly what you needed. So when you go to the Lily Pudding article, you want to scroll down to the download section. This is going to give you the name of the four apps that you need to download. Make sure that you read the notes next to it, specifically on this Google Services Framework 9. Make sure that you don't download anything with version 10. Make sure everything says Android 9. This actually comes into effect with multiple apps, so make sure you are reading that. Also make sure that you are looking for compatible with ARM64 and Android 9 Plus. So I'm gonna click on this just to show you how to download it and search for these specific uh, program qualities that you need. I would suggest opening it in a new link if you are using it on your computer. So when we scroll down, we want to make sure that we are looking for Google services. Click on this 10 variants right here. Click on the see available downloads and scroll down. You want to make sure that you're not downloading one of these bundles. You want to be downloading an APK and make sure you are also looking for ARM64 and Android 9 Plus. So if you scroll down, you can see that this is ARM64, Android 9, this is also an APK, it is not a bundle. So this is the version I would currently work, would download right now. These files do change, as you can see, this is February 9th, 2024, I can't, it's hard to say which versions are going to be available, being that these are mirrors and which ones will work with your Kindle. So sometimes it is a little bit of trial and error. It is worth it once you get Google Docs on there. So to download it, you just click on this download. Scroll down. Don't fall for this download here. Don't fall for this download over here. You want to download the APK under this red button right here. You click on this. It'll actually pop up and you can download it. And remember, make sure that you are naming this what you were downloading. I believe this was the Google Play Services one. This is in case when you get to installing it on your Kindle, one of them doesn't work. You want to make sure you know which one you have to go back and try to install a different version of. So that is how you download those. Flash drive, adapter, plug it in. Open this up, and I have already made a folder with all four. You're going to need to install four different apps to get this to work. This is going to sideload these and make it so that you'll be able to use the Google Play Store, and there you can download all the apps. You need to install the Google Accounts Manager first. We're going to click on that. Click continue when it asks you to confirm, install. If at this point, if you have installed one that says it doesn't load, you're gonna have to try to find a different version of the app. I had to do this before and it took me a little while to troubleshoot exactly which version I needed. This one's good to go. The next one that you need to download is Google Services. 
install that one. Continue, install, done. The next one is Google Play Services. Continue, install, click done. And the Google Play Store is your final one. If you get to the final one, this one was the easiest for me to download. This is usually a pretty exciting moment. Click on that, hit continue, install, Okay, it has installed. Success, all four have installed. You can click done. And I'm gonna close that. I can eject my flash drive so you don't need to look at it. <laughs> it looks a little weird hanging out. And then we're gonna go back here and you can see, very exciting that the Play Store is down there. It is recommended that you reboot after installing this. So I'm going to reboot my tablet. The completionist in me feels like we need to download Google Docs to prove a point here to show that it actually works. I'm going to click on the Play Store. You are going to have to log in. Two-step verification. Like I said, it is a process. Take your time. Agree to the terms of service. All right, and we have the Play Store on here. Now to install Google Docs, all we need to do is search for Google Docs, our long awaited bounty at the end of our quest. Finally, we will get to the end. It has not been bad for you, but it has been a day for me. So I'm really excited to finally be able to get to the end. If it will ever load. <laughs> this is like back in the old days when dial up and you had to be very patient. Seeing this load is a little trying for my patience and I would like to consider myself a patient person. Install. Now if I scroll up you can see that Google Docs has installed here at the bottom and it's going to open up all of my wonderful Google Docs, they have already been synced because I have turned on online syncing. I'm gonna click on that just to open it. And you can see here, we have our very lovely Google Docs on here, all ready to attach to a keyboard, which if you need a keyboard, I have created a review, which I will post soon. So if you don't wanna put the programs to install on a flash drive, you will need to turn on a setting that will allow you to download third-party apps. So to do this, you need to go into settings and go to security and privacy. And then under apps from unknown sources, click that on to allow you to download those apps there. Then what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to open up the Silk browser and you're gonna to need to open up the link to the article that is in the description. The easiest way might actually be going to Lily Pudding and then how to install Google Play. And we'll just say on Fire HD8. And this will give you the links to download them right onto your Fire tablet. Keep scrolling. Okay, those are the four apps that you need to download. Be sure that you download these apps in order. Since it's a little bit difficult to rename these in the downloads section, just install everything from the bottom to the top and that will make sure everything installs correctly. From there, all you need to do is open up the Play Store and install Google Docs. Okay. Hopefully you stayed with me for that entire video. Hopefully it was helpful and you were able to get Google Docs installed onto your Kindle Fire. Check out my other Google Docs videos and I will catch you guys all again in the next video. Bye!